A Florida federal judge has delayed her decision on whether to appoint a special master to oversee the Trump raid probe, saying it will come in due course. Matt Whitaker, former acting U.S. Attorney General, joins us now. Look, Matt, you've been in courtrooms. You understand the nuance from what you're hearing inside a courtroom. Did you glean anything from the lawyer's arguments or from the judge yesterday? Yeah, I think Judge Cannon summed it up with her one question is as to what harm is done by appointing a special master. And the answer, which the government was unwilling to do, is, is it provides oversight and accountability to the government. And I think ultimately they should welcome that in this case. I mean, there's been obviously a lot of, a lot of criticism, a lot of questioning of the why they went into Mar-a-Lago, why they used this technique to execute a search warrant. And I think a special master would provide that oversight and accountability that would, you know, ally a lot of Americans' fears. And I, I want to get to this. Um, last night, the uh, uh, president, it was basically the soul of the nation speech, spent the majority of the time targeting MAGA Republicans, um, basically saying, if you aren't with the Democrats, then you're an extremist. Listen to this. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. MAGA forces are determined to take this country backwards. You know, not that any time is a good time to create division in the country, but what was the point of choosing last night to do this to ostracize half the country? Yeah, the president really seems uh, to uh, have a lot of animosity towards his fellow citizens. And we've, we have not seen this uh, from a president of the United States, not even Abraham Lincoln, who was at war with half of the country at, at his time, you know, had this kind of animosity. But, you know, I travel all over the country. I've been in New Mexico recently, Pennsylvania and Iowa, and I see uh, Republicans, I see Trump voters, I see the types of people that I think he's trying to categorize as being deplorable and, you know, sort of not worth uh, our, you know, kind of our time or, or attention. And they're hardworking Americans that love their country, they love their family, they want better things, they, you know, they respect law enforcement. And I really see this as just him trying to blame somebody else for his policy failings. I mean, you know, inflation's sky high. We have a crisis at our southern border. People are getting killed in our major cities. And we have this fentanyl crisis that, you know, from the podium, the spokesperson said that, you know, because they're seizing more fentanyl at the border, you know, they're declaring victory. This is, you know, not the America that I think most of our country and our fellow citizens want. And obviously, 22 elections going to be a referendum on Joe Biden. Yeah, Matt, to the election point, I know you're not a campaign strategist, but you are an attorney, and attorneys think strategically. How should Republicans use this speech on the campaign trail in the next two months? Well, they should, because this election is, should be about Joe Biden. Uh, you know, midterm elections are always about the incumbent president and, and their performance. And I can't see a single facet of our society that is better off. I mean, the, you know, remember, the Democrats and Joe Biden's uh, allies want to continue to put masks on children in schools. They want, uh, you know, to somehow defund the police, no matter what you hear from the president. The radical left, who Joe Biden represents, uh, wants to hurt our fellow citizens in the name of equity and, and social justice. And so, you know, as I look across this country and the places I visit, you know, Americans are sick and tired of Joe Biden's policies. You know, we've had a, he, he and Joe, uh, Barack Obama has had, have had a majority of leadership in the last uh, decade, and it's failing. And we need some accountability, some rational sound policies uh, and the basic block in tackling of the American system of both capitalism and good government that, you know, is a one tiered system of justice that doesn't punish political enemies. And, you know, the recipe is simple, but Todd, you know, we're not seeing it right now. And that's why I think a lot of Americans are concerned about the future of our country. Right. And also don't forget them positioning Marines in uniform behind yes. Biden for that. So that was also um, a big, uh, yeah. you know, no, no, for a lot of people. He said blocking and tackling sounds like somebody who played football at the yeah. University of Iowa. Matt Whitaker, thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.